Ready? Set? Go! Oh, that was good. <laughs> I wear the boomer shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kids, and our two cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. So this is episode 28 of Virtual Boat Shopping, otherwise known as... The Yeah. <laughs> okay, I went so up, up, down. What are we looking at today? Well, do you need to tell a little bit more about our route and our trip? Oh, that's right. If you haven't this is seen any other episodes, uh, the Great American Loop is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States using intercoastal waterways, rivers, lakes, and a little bit of ocean. Um, and in order to do the loop, your boat has to meet certain criteria. It cannot be any taller than 19 feet, six inches above the waterline. It can't be any deeper than six feet, preferably less than five. And we're really shooting for like four and a half foot draw or less. And we need three staterooms because it's us, our kids, and hopefully some amazing tutor that's out there that we will eventually find who wants to live with us on a very small boat and teach our children. So I'm actually kind of excited to show you today's okay. boat, even though it's like not a boat that I would ever think that I would be excited mm -hmm. about. I'm amazed that you're excited to show me this because I don't think this is the prettiest boat. It's not a pretty boat. It's more, but you have to realize, here's what I'm coming to realize is that we may have like a forever boat scenario later on in life. This, this is, is not our forever boat. And this is a loop boat, which is basically a river boat. If you can get that, into your head, maybe this boat makes a little bit more sense. Anyway, let's look at it. It is a 2001 Novatec 57 motor yacht located in Hilton Head, South Carolina, which would work very well for us being here in Atlanta. We could just keep a ride up in there Ooh, yeah, and, we and wanna, go up and visit, which not, would work great for insurance reasons. We're not starting until ideally March of 2022 and we want to buy something after her. But we're getting in that zone, we're people. Close. We're Woo! getting in that zone. Somebody said, are y'all ever going to buy a boat? The answer is well, yes. Like, well, yeah, We've just been we, waiting. But we don't want to buy a boat just yet. So, But anyway. it takes 45 to 60 days to really do a boat, and that's past on a boat. storm season. So we're getting in there. Anyway, okay. oh, here she is. Let's look at the specs on her. Okay. Is she pretty? No. <laughs> okay, but well, it's like, bear with me, it's bear like with a baby. Me. They're all cute, but there are cuter, there are, there are, cuter there are not better looking boats out there. You know, I said, when I walk up, when we walk up to the boat at the marina or at a berth, like, I want to go, boat. that's my boat. Whereas this one is, that's my boat. <laughs> but then you <laughs> but get on it and you're like, this. this is amazing. This is great space. All right. Specs, whole shape, modified V. Length overall, 57 feet. We're good okay. to 58 feet. Perfect. Beam, 16.4, not mm. wide, not narrow. It gets kind of a... Mm, doesn't get a it doesn't get a beamy boat dance. Maximum draft, four foot five. That's nice. Displacement, 58,000 pounds. It's fairly uh, well built. We don't built. know about the air height on it? Uh, we don't know the air height, but I'm... You know, at this point, air height, I'm assuming everything can be taken off at some point. Let's, let's just assume we'll get the air height taken care of. You know of. what they say about assumptions. Assumptions. They're like feet? No, those are opinions. They all stink. <laughs> Uh, engine brand, <laughs> Caterpillar. Okay. That's good. 3196 Caterpillars. Inboard diesels. Engine hours, 2626.50. So about halfway through, all... I think, what a Caterpillar rebuild is, unless these have been rebuilt. Um, How many hours are we going to put on these engines when we do the loop? I think I calculated 5,000 to 6,000 hours. So when we're done, these things are going to have to be rebuilt. If you're looking at... That's a lot of hours. If you're, say we're cruising for a year, say 300 days out of a year, and you're cruising for six hours a day, 600 times 300 is 1,800. Okay, so... Math is not his forte, and I don't think we'll That's be not a that exact day. science okay. by any means. <laughs> okay, we'll look at that. Water tanks, 220 gallons, doable. Hey. Fuel tanks, 800 gallons. And four cabins? Yeah, I'm telling you, the space inside this boat is fantastic. Okay. Holding tank, 70 gallons of poop. Number of cabins, four. Number of heads, two. That's the specs. Let's look at it. I mean... So, wide, here's what we got. We got wing doors like a Hatteras right here. So, that's good. You step down. This is not preferable right here. This is flat, and it has a bench here, okay? This is a full-time pilot, or it's a full-time upper helm, but this is hard glass with windshield. Okay, but see, yeah, the, uh, the height, it doesn't look, it's gonna be right under there, but you can't, you can't take that full-time glass no, and all that out. No, I think out. this is, you take this down, I think you're good. 
we're gonna we'll have do to, a little more we're research. We're gonna have to do a little research. There she is the from the side. We'll like confirm that this is loop capable. All right, there she is from the side. Okay. A lot of walk around space. Look at the look at the Sea World pulpit, as we're gonna call it. You got Rex. You got a, a cockpit for Rex there for fishing, for playing. The kids will love that. I need a better name than Sea World. Dolphin Dolphin viewing pulpit. Dolphin. All right, we got a davit for a tender up here, which is a little strange because you have to access it through the flybridge here, but it does have it. Oh, it looks awkward. It's an awkward, weird boat. Just get it into your head. This is a okay, but look, funky boat. I love the but cockpit it, for playing. Oh, and there's a, is there like a door straight into our bedroom? For yes. I'm gonna have. I, I'm I gonna can have go out in my robe fishing, and drink I'm coffee. I'm gonna have fishing bait and fish in my bedroom. You're gonna wake up to your son holding at a sunrise. fish. Hey, mom. <laughs> look what I caught. <laughs> okay, it's the dog house is its name. How do you get into the into the cockpit except through our bedroom? You'll see. Oh, there's stairs. Where no. are the stairs? Right there. Those are. Oh, okay. Sorry, I digress. I'm trying to keep fish out of the bedroom. All right, long bow with a bench. Okay, like the bench. Okay, so here's the dedicated upper helm. There's I don't helm. like upper helms, but I don't mind them if it's a hard top with a windshield and glass. And windshield wiper. So it's just you have one helm and it's up top. And on a plus, like I can be navigating up here and not hear anybody downstairs if I need to do serious navigation. Or you could be navigating and we can't hear you and you're like, help! Yeah. <laughs> um, bow thrusters, look, auto, new okay. autopilot, pretty good electronics. Okay. I don't know what that is and that is. It looks like digital engine management system, so that's good. These, you push it open and they open like an old car windshield, so you got vintage, so venting, so like a flybridge. Okay. Wait, so they tilt up like that? Yeah, okay. like an awning window. All right, now look, this is behind the helm. Well, that's some good space. Look, like, this, a table. this, look, this is a bed, that's a day bed. You'll be sleeping up there. And the way you get to the dinghy is up through this so you somehow. you crawl across the daybed area. Yeah. Not ideal, but not terrible. Three helm chairs. Okay, that's going to be really amusing when I do that in a caftan. Well, it's going to be Rex's responsibility. Oh, okay. All right, and look, these open somehow, maybe. Okay, keep going. Let me see the magic of this boat. I'm waiting. But look, that's... That's good. That reminds me of... Alright, Lido deck. Go down okay. from the helm and you have this aft area. This is an outdoor living room. There are like three, two living rooms on this boat, really. Okay. So this is one of them. We put in our own furniture. You could paint back there really well. Yes. Mark's I'm an, an artist. artist. And he will continue to paint. Most of his work is commission based, so we are hopeful that Gotta you will Gotta pay for that diesel fuel. <laughs> continue it's to have a steady flow of commissions. <laughs> These open, okay. so you can get ventilation, and there's your cockpit access. Okay. I mean, okay. and then look, fridge, freezer, maybe bar fridge. So that's that's a TV. I mean, seeing that there's going to be five humans and two cats on the boat. That's pretty awesome. Okay, right? keep going. Another view. You go up to the helm here, I mean, down and, to the cockpit. And by the way, we we anticipate redecorating any boat that we, yes. we get to be our. Although this looks aesthetic. like a ship's table. That's somewhat permanent, but we would get rid of all this stuff if we even wanted to keep the table. All right, so this is the, they jump right into it, this is the Tudor. Okay, so we've skipped the, the yeah. main salon yeah. kitchen, okay, VIP. Why progress through the boat when you can just jump to another random room? Okay, that's a VIP stateroom, that's mm -hmm. a nice good size. Porthole. Okay, little. so that's obviously a V-berth in the bow. It's got its own bathroom, but that there's only two heads on this, so. It is en suite. So that's shared with. Yep. Is that a mirrored ceiling? Of course. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Shower, so okay. it's not a wet. Okay, here are the kids well, with kinda, storage. Well, it's kind of tight though, but. Like I said, just at a minimum, a two by two foot little square to at least for the kids to sit on and play. Okay. Washer, Washer dryer, dryer combo. Nice. Okay, here we go. That's nice. So you step down into okay. here. You got an L-shaped settee, dedicated living room, okay, dining room table, because there's no helm down here, and then the galley. Okay. I feel like it's a little photographic trickery because it's not very wide. 
There's a mirror on the back there, but I like the... It's a pointy houseboat, really, is kind of what this is. All right, but dedicated dinner. Look. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we spent five years on a Meridian 408, which was this similar layout, which actually worked fantastic. There's really no reason why we shouldn't uh, this, be on a Meridian this would 408 be so, for this, the loop. <laughs> this would be so easy to move into. Like, mm -hmm. I like, it looks clean. Mm -hmm. I like the white, throw on some cushions. I'd put different ottomans or coffee table. It's cute. I like the light wood. It's not super shiny. I don't like super shiny wood for some reason. So you got a residential fridge. Okay. There's a trash compactor, maybe a dishwasher, microwave, nice counter space. That's kind of weird recess, but I think what we would do would be convert that to a induction cooktop okay. and put some solar panels on there. Okay. Master. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. There. There's your private cockpit. Look, there's a Area. constellation above the bed. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought they were fishing rods. Oh, are they? No. I think it's or just Or maybe decoration. they are. Okay, that's a good size master. Tons of storage here. Yeah, All of this. That looks there. like a closet. Ship's phone. Yeah. Oh, a little bench here. I guess they want this to be a vanity. makeup space. Definitely growing on me. I mean, this is really good space. Look at all these drawers here. Okay, why did it say it had four state rooms? Nice head. Mm, mm, I give that a doable head. Not the best swim platform, but you have the cockpit. If it were just this, this That's is like right. a Hatteras, yeah. but you got that. And here's where the kids would love it. I don't know what that is. The davit, the dinghy storage isn't the best, panels. The kids have got to be able to access the panels, the circuit panel, I think, which is what this is, where it's in the main flow of things. To help out, you want them to be ed good educated. wiring, labeled. Where's this fourth stateroom they they told us about? The magical fourth stateroom. I don't know how you access. That looks like maybe through the, the ladder. Uh, um, how like what's up with the the holes in the floor? Well, those are the stringers, and that's the the bilge. But don't you, isn't there usually like a floor on top of that? Some of, I mean like a Nordhaven or something. Oh, but maybe because it's so low. That looks like you're not standing up in there. No, I mean, they're going to be trade-offs. Okay. All right. That is the Novatech. The Novatech. I mean, I give it a solid, definite maybe leaning towards yes. Like, the space is great. <sighs> <laughs> it's not pretty. You remember the Viking that looked like this? Uh-huh, that had great space. Uh-huh. There's something inherent in whatever you call this design that's great space, but it just lacks. It's just not sexy. It's so doable. Yeah. Great price for that much. Mm-hmm. What do All you this it? space back here, I put it as a reluctant yes. But I do want to be excited to get on our boat, but then there's, you know, seeing your boat at the marina, enjoying a boat while you're on it might outweigh that Absolutely. visual excitement when you walk up to the boat. Eventually you're going to be like, that's our boat, and we fall, you fall in love with whatever boat yeah. it is because you treat you well. But look, you got, I mean, you got windshield wipers, three windshield wipers, a dedicated totally helm, doable. ton of space. Totally so, doable. It's a reluctant yes from both of us. Yeah, definite maybe. All right. So that's the, the Novatech 2001 57 Motor Yacht. We love all your comments and all your feedback and all of your suggestions. Thank you. Yeah, keep them coming. And We're getting that, our little community of yeah, people that we of keep awesomeness. seeing. So thank you for all the banter and thanks for tuning in and uh, yeah, throttle that like and subscribe button. Okay. <laughs> Shine on. See ya.